What's up everybody, this is Night Viper, and today I want to talk to you about um, two things actually. How to get The Last Fortress on your PC, what program you need to download, and how to fix that program. Because when I first downloaded it, I had a lot of glitching. It continually kicked me off the game. If you've seen any of my previous videos, I don't know if you've noticed in the beginning of the video, I'm like kind of happy. And by the end of the video, I'm just pretty pissed off, and it's because it was constantly kicking me out. So. I think I found a fix on that. Um, it hasn't kicked me out since I did it, and I want to show you guys what that is. And for the people that are new to this program, I'm going to show you how to download it, how to get The Last Fortress on your computer. Uh, but I didn't just want to stop there. Like, I didn't want to leave it there and just be like, all right, now go for it. And then you guys get kicked out a bunch and be like, this sucks. Like I was. So I'm going to show you guys uh, what I found fixed it, and if it works for you, great. So if you're interested in that, stick around, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips about The Last Fortress, and you'll be notified of the next video that I come out with. So uh, let's just get to it. What you want to do is you're going to download BlueStacks. This is an app player. It makes it so that you can play any type of app that you would have on a cell phone, like a smartphone or a tablet. So bring up Google. You're going to type in BlueStacks into the search bar, download BlueStacks, and you have your options here. BlueStacks 10, BlueStacks 5. I didn't know the difference. I did 5 and um, I was having issues with it, but I don't think it's because I picked 5 instead of 10. 10, I looked it up for you guys, is actually just cloud-based gaming. So it's like streaming your game rather than downloading onto your PC. For me personally, it doesn't work out that well. A lot of the games glitch or pixelated. Um, they just don't have good gameplay. So I would rather download the game onto my PC. If you have memory, go with that. If you don't have memory, you can go with the cloud-based one. I didn't do that, so uh, your experience may be different than what I show on this video. But um, what I did was I downloaded BlueStacks 5, you click on it, and as you can see, I've done this repeatedly for this video, kids jumping in the room while I'm recording this video, and then also not hitting record on this video while I was trying to record this video. <laughs> so. You will have this pop-up, and uh, you click on it, and it'll un it'll install the program onto your computer. Okay, if it doesn't pop up right there, then you probably just need to go down to this folder and go to your downloads folder. It'll be the first one on the list because you just downloaded it. So you're gonna run it. Once you run it, you're gonna open it up. Um, you're actually going to have on your desktop. You'll have three different icons that it's gonna put on there, and I'm gonna show you what they are because this you can run. Um, once you run BlueStacks, it's going to have you log into Google. And once you log into Google like you would on your cell phone, you can go to the Play Store, you can download Latch Fortress, and you can play. I wouldn't do that yet, though. And here's the second part of the video. So the first part, you've got it. you got BlueStacks in your computer. It will work with the game, but it will also kick you off constantly. So from here out, if you want the fix, it's a little bit more complicated, but it's not too bad. You can watch the video and you'll get through it even if you don't have tech skills. So. Okay, so after you download BlueStacks, you're going to have three icons on your computer. There's going to be BlueStacks 10, which we're not going to use. They just threw it in. We're going to have BlueStacks 5, which we can use, but it's going to glitch if we use it in the condition that it's in now without changing it. And we have BlueStacks 5 Meta Instance Manager, which is what we're going to use to change BlueStacks 5 so it's compatible. So let me show you what BlueStacks looks like if you just were to click on the BlueStacks 5 and open it up. So this is what BlueStacks will look like if you just open BlueStacks 5. You'll get the Play Store, you'll click on it, it'll have you put in your Google information, and then you can download Last Fortress. It's going to glitch. When you go to click on Last Fortress, it's going to say this. And this is how I knew that I needed to do something different. This just showed up a few days ago. Um, it's a new fix as far as I've seen because this wasn't here a week ago when I was doing this. It's brand new. So this was able to fix it and it talks about a Pi 64 bit instance. I had no idea what that meant or what that was. So I went to Google and I found it. Let me go to the top here. I'm going to put this support website in the comments so that you guys can go to it. But this is how you change it. Um, it goes step by step on the buttons you need to hit 
and let me go down because I'm going to go through these with you. It will show you the settings that you need to put into it. Again, it's not hard. You're just going to fill it in exactly what's on this picture here. That's what I did, and it works for my computer. So what we're going to do is you can either click on the meta instance icon on your desktop like I showed you, or you can, if you bring up BlueStacks, you can actually just click on the little layered button over here, and this is the multi-instance manager. So either way, it's going to bring you to this screen here. And what you're going to have on this screen is um, this 32-bit. That's most likely what you're going to be running. If you're running a Pi 64-bit right now, you're good. Video's done. But if you're not running that, um, then this is how you add that. You're going to go hit this uh, plus on instance, and you're going to say fresh instance. You don't want to clone. You don't want what you already have. So fresh instance is going to go from the 32-bit to Pi 64, the bottom one. You're going to hit next. And now this has to be filled out exactly like they have it on here. And that worked for me. So you need to type in everything exactly like this and you could just pop back and forth pause the video look at the uh, look at this and then just copy it straight over so this is what you're adding in and as you can see mine's actually already there uh, because once you do it once it just kept it for me i can change it again if i need to but right now this is exactly what it shows on the other page so i'm just going to hit create but you'll be hitting these drop downs and clicking on whatever you need to make it what's on that other page. So I think I might have had to change to click this button, change one of these other things like this. It wasn't bad. So let me move this because it's like right in my eyesight. There. Okay, so you're gonna hit create and now you have your Pi 64 bit. Yours isn't gonna play be saying like player seven. I've done this seven times, that's why it says player seven. Um, and that was just for let's call it outtakes for this video um, but yeah you you're gonna have this and then when you hit start it's gonna bring up another one of these it's gonna be different so like I can hit start on this one and I guess that's a cool thing is you could have more than one of these and you can log in different emails to them too so you can have different accounts going at the same time so that's kind of a neat feature I don't need to do that though so I actually don't need this one here I could just close it and I'm going to go with the other ones that I just pulled up, which is this one that we just hit start on. That's this. So as you can see, there's no last fortress. It's just what you would normally see on a cell phone. You hit play, and now it's going to make you sign into Google Play. So you're going to sign in, and once you do sign in, come back, and I'll go to the screen that you'll be on after you sign in. Okay, so now you're signed in. You can get into the Play Store. You just come up here and type in Last Fortress. You can see I already did. And you're going to hit download. So, or install. And if you need an update for your game, if you already have it installed, you need an update, this is where you come for an update too. So if you see any any pops up pop-ups in the game or on Facebook about like them having an update, just come here and hit the update button so that way your game doesn't get glitchy and you have whatever new events coming out because sometimes if you don't do the update you don't get the new event okay so you're on here you can go back or you can click move this out of the way you can click this little button down here this little home button and that'll take you to the home screen now you have last fortress you installed it so you can just click on it and it'll bring up the game so here is the bummer part about it which i talked about in the beginning of this video when you're starting this game, anytime, whether you're on tablet, cell phone, computer, it makes you do the tutorial. I have not found a way around it. I haven't found a button to do that. So if there is a button, leave it in the comments so people don't have to go through this repeatedly like I have. Um, but what I mean by that is when you start the game, it's just going to have you start. And then you're going to have to go through the beginning scenes of finding the fortress, meeting the people building the certain little buildings that you have to do until it gives you your little id card in the top corner once you get that you can switch accounts there has got to be an easier way for that i don't know what it is though so again if you know it put it in the comments but once you get this here it's going to make it so that you can click on it 
and you can go to account, switch accounts, sign in with Google. It'll say that your old game will be lost because that's like the baby game that you just started. That's not the game that you've been playing. Um, it'll say that that game is going to be lost. It'll override it if you continue because you haven't linked it and you just hit OK and then you sign into your one that you're currently using on your cell phone or your tablet. So the game that you're already using, the same one that you were signing into the Play Store with, that's what you're going to sign into the game. For some reason they don't talk, so they don't know which one. I'm assuming it's so you can have multiple accounts on this um, game. But that's what you want to do. You want to go to Account, Switch Accounts, Google, Sign In, Sign In with the one that you did on the Play Store that your game already exists with. And you'll be able to find your game, load it up, and you'll be in. So this was originally my baby account here, and um, I just did the switch over, and now it's the my regular account. So that's how you switch over. Um, that's what you need to do to fix it. And now I can like go out and back in, and it's not kicking me. Another tip, uh, just so while I have you here. In the computer, everything is zoomed in really freaking close. Like if I go inside my fortress, and I actually like, it's like zoomed in probably about that close to you. So you're super close zoomed in moving around and it's really hard to navigate. Hold down the control button and scroll your mouse. Oops, let me see if I can get that in camera. Scroll your mouse. Hopefully that's in the screen. Um, just use your little scroll on the mouse and it'll actually zoom out. So control, scroll, and you can zoom out and you can see more of your fortress. It's also what works on the actual uh, map, hold down control, use a little scroll bar on the mouse, and you're back out. So you can do that and you can look around, come back in. So, and it's basically the same, hold scroll and just move in the opposite direction, you'll move in. So that is all that I have for you today on setting up blue stakes and setting up the last fortress on your computer and having the fix to it so that you don't have to go through all the craziness that I did. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I'll get to them as soon as I can. If you have any solutions for not doing the tutorial, leave it in the comment section. And if this video helped you, subscribe, like the video. And um, if you do subscribe, you'll be notified the next time I come out with another video. So, And I'm going to be coming out with more tips on this game. So if you're interested, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's supposed to fit.